Hey guys, Steve with SBL Games. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. My phone's giving me all these memory issues, running out of space all the time. But anyhow, today we're working on the Oculus 2. This is only my second one that I've done. The uh, camera lens, people are breaking them. So I thought it was recording too, which sucks. But um, So to get in here, the first things first, you got to pull this piece off. You want to pull kind of an upward motion and then out. And then once you get in that deep, in order to get this piece off, there is, what is that, three, four, five, six, T, I believe, twos, T twos, torque twos. There's two here, two here, then one on each side on the bottom. This is a bit trickier to get out. Um, I use the tweezers to kind of wedge in there and go along and pop each little latch off. I started from the bottom here and went that way, and then from the bottom here and went that way, and then kind of whole thing. But you want to be careful because there is a ribbon cable. So when you pull that up, same as before, you want to go up and over like that, like kind of like up and like you're folding a page on a book, I guess. Because you'll need to disconnect this cable and even after you disconnect it it's actually held in place with some adhesive so you've got to kind of break that as he had adhesive loose to get it to actually come unplugged and then that piece will come out once you get that far then there is what is that four yeah there's a total of uh four screws in there there's one in that corner, one in that corner, one in that corner, one in that corner. Then you can flip it over. And this one gave me a crap ton of trouble, unfortunately. But once you get those out, you could actually go along and pop all the latches. And then this piece will pull out. This piece will pull out. See all the little latches along the edge there. And you can pop that off and then you'll have access to the cameras. Um, I guess I got lucky because uh, same exact camera as last time. And in order to access that camera, there is a, uh, what would you even call that? There's like a clip holding it in place with three screws. You want to undo that clip and also attached to that clip is going to be what I'm guessing is some kind of Wi-Fi cable, Wi-Fi antenna. It's like a simple nipple connector. You just kind of pop it with your fingernail. And then there's this cable too. I didn't have to disconnect it, but I did for safety. That goes right by the camera. And then the camera itself is actually held into place by three screws. There's two like right on the camera basically. And then a third one right there next to it. Then you can pull out the camera, there'll be this little, I don't know, rubber piece that goes around it. So I have the new camera here. I just need to install and reassemble. And this is a Quest 2 by Oculus. If anyone was curious on which version it is, because I found out there are a couple different versions. All right, and then the tricky part with this is uh, you got to get this in here and under that cable. I don't know why they build stuff the way they do. I just fix it, but that's how they have it. So it's kind of difficult to get in there. Um, let's see if I could finagle this. Yeah, I think I had to uh, pull this whole thing out last time. That's why I got those copper pieces pulled up. Damn it. I'm 
should turn on the light. I should have turned on the light a long time ago. That is not the light. <laughs> hey. Alright, so yeah, this piece right here. Definitely need to get that. Because this piece pulls outwards. And that's where the camera actually connects. So I'm going to actually pull that camera back out. Oh crap, it's connected to the... Uh, there's like a pink thermal compound or something that uh, really sticky. Just try not to get it everywhere. It's kind of a pain to do that. To goof around with. Alright. <clears throat> so here's our camera. So we want to get that plugged into here. Just try to be patient. It, it will definitely frustrate you if you let it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Definitely give me a run for the money. Come on. Pink compounds getting all over. Nice. Hey, I got it. Alright, so once you get that to click into place, wipe all the crappy pink compound stuff off. And then we need to tuck that camera back in. Just kind of finagle it in there. Where is that? All right, so now we got the camera back in there. So we want to put these screws on, and <coughs> <coughs> and we want to get this little rubber piece on, which I should have probably put on before. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be. Fun times, I actually got to get that whole piece back up. <laughs> uh, come on. There we go. Crap, it's hard to even know how that little rubber piece goes. Didn't really make a mental note, unfortunately, on which way it went. You guys can't see it anything. So I'm trying to give you guys a good angle and everything. This is really difficult. Now my head's going to be in the way. This guy here. Under there, like so, and then we gotta get this bad boy in there. If it's anything like that one, then it, it goes like this, but I think it goes differently. I think it goes differently. We're about to find out. Yeah. Let's see if we 
very much a thorn in my side. <laughs> oh man. I'm supposed to just do game systems, people talk to me and all this other stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. Let's not be frustrated. See if there's any indication that this looks like that. Difficult to freaking tell. That does not look right. Mm. Well, this sucks. I can't figure out how the hell that thing goes in there. I want to say it goes more like that. But that's like more of a cutout. But then that won't go. <laughs> <coughs> Something else, you know. Can't really tuck that part. It's really six. <laughs> I'll have to edit this out or something. This is. We're gonna go ahead and take a small break because this is ridiculous. All right, and we are back. I was just having a bunch of trouble with that. In order to figure it out, I pretty much just compared to this side where it has two holes. That set as the one hole. Finally got that to line up. So we are now going to basically re-secure everything. So this, we could press those back down into place. This piece is going to snap into place right here. And then tuck into there. This piece. We actually need to put this clip in first, and then we can't forget about this clip. And that really sucks because it's in there. It's in there. Definitely in there. Alright. <clears throat> so first things first, let's get this clip in. Just gotta remember how it goes. Uh, crap, I don't remember how it goes. I want to say it goes like this, but that it's not going. Oh, there we go. So that goes like that. And then I recommend putting your screws in order. It always helps when it's all said and done. There we go.
fat flat one goes there. We got another fat flat one. Goes right here. And we have a long cylinder screw goes right here. And then now this, <coughs> now this piece, you could, we're going to go ahead and uh, tuck it in where it goes there. And then we're going to click that into place. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys, but it makes it difficult to navigate my directionals here. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, so we got all that stuff routed where it goes. We got the. Uh, I'm gonna redo that screw, I don't like how it's sitting. There. That's sitting more flush. So that's pretty much it for the Oculus 2 camera replacement. Um, you just gotta put all the screws back and put it together. Um, those three, trying to recall where those three went. Hmm. Those four go there, those go there. All right, so the three screws two go through the camera and then one goes into this little metal clip to hold that in place okay so now that we've gotten that far we could go ahead and put the cover piece back on Making sure it's all nice and aligned. It gave me a hell of a lot more trouble than the first one I did. But anyhow, that could go ahead and go into place. It should kind of click in fairly easy. May need a little bit of uh, pressure. You'll hear some confirming clicks. 